Very good. So next uh, last question is oh, is there Harika? Harika is there? Yes, sir. Harika, are what are the networking? most common networking devices we use before i explain but you can see on the screen also what are the networking devices guys can you see on my screen Invisible, right? Yes, sir. Visible. Yeah. Harika, tell me. Networking devices. Read on the screen. On the screen only, answer is there. Okay, Pranaya Grayatri. Sir. Tell me what are the networking devices? The networking devices are hub, repeater, switch, bridge, router, modem, wireless AP. Okay, good. That's good. Okay. Good. okay. Guys, these are the primary networking devices, hub, repeater, switches, routers, and modems. Okay. Repeaters and bridges are may may not be used, not direct as a devices. Okay, it's in the days. But repeaters are using in a wireless way. That is also I will show you. And of course, wireless access point and all the wireless access points still are using in our organizations like in home we are not using but in organizations we are not using of course these two things are not using currently okay we are using firewalls for a network defense purpose we are using ids and ips devices for a security purpose institution detection system institution prevention system checkpoint servers also available some are as a device, some are as a like a machine, servers, computers kind of stuff. Basic point review points is hub or searches, both are works in a LAN communication. Hub and searches, both works in a LAN communication. Okay. Router works in both LAN and WAN communication. Router is an inter-networking device. Hub we use in a small networks, like I have two, three computers, four or five computers. So max eight, not more than eight connectivities. We can't do with the maximum is eight connectivities in hub. Okay, generally any hub is having uh, four port, eight port hubs at there. Okay, not 24 port, uh, 48 port kind of stuff. No hub is there. Okay, of course, there is a reason. In. Okay, hub is for LAN communication and use for small network. Hub has also work as a repeater. Of course, repeater has something like a, when you are using a network cable, so the cable has a distance is there. So long distance, it cannot communicate, not more than 100 meters. If you have a, the next device is more than 100 meters, we need a repeater to repeat the signal. Certain meters, like 80 meters, 50 meters, 80 meters, 90 meters, right? So the signal will become a decayed, low signal. So you have to use the repeater to repeat the signal for long distance communication. Again, I will will go each and every details. Okay. Again, switch, switches and hubs are both used in land communication. Switches used in both small and large networks. Switch use Mac learning, 
MAC address table kind of techniques. Again, bridges are not actually devices. Bridges are software based, like a server, uh, Windows server, Linux server. They bridge between the different networks using sample NICs on it. Very limited, two, three connections on it. It's a whole software concept, it is virtual type. Routers used in LAN and WAN communications. Intra inter networking device, it is. Okay, mainly for WAN communication. Different networks, we need to communicate each other. They have to communicate through router only. It shows best paths to reach the destination. I am open google.com, facebook.com, youtube.com. Those servers are located in a different places in the world, right? So I can reach. So the routers in the uh, ISPs and outside routers will show the best path to reach the destination. Not only my router, also my router will get information how to reach the destination from my router to another router, other router, finally, I reach the destination. But which path is easiest path? Okay, best path, either uh, by connectivity wise or uh, uh, distance wise. Next one is modem. Modem is used to connect internet. So in my home, I have a LAN connect with everything is there, but I have to connect it to my ISV so then I can get an internet to home, right? So that is using telephone or optical paper cables. I'm using a modem. So these are the basic things about uh, each one, like a simple single answer type guys. If you read it, it is like uh, there is a question like uh, tell me about a uh, networking devices hub switch router modem these four are a main basic networking devices okay so one second is asking so many things One second, one second, one second. Um, yeah, just uh, guys, uh, read uh, this hub. Okay, let's read about a hub. Uh, urgent message. Okay, so yeah, then uh, hub, so it is hub, okay. So if you want, you can see, yeah, I already showed how hubs are look like. So now Colin, so here it is in hub. You can see the limited number of ports for the hub. It is a non-intelligent device. It does not have any uh, 
separate processing chip kind of stuff. It will take a packet and send a packet to everyone. It does not understand the MAC address or IP address of your device. Okay. Of course, we are using this for start topology. Our pen switches used for a start topology purpose. So, okay, this is simple hub in a diagrammatical way. Okay, so here it is. Think like this. This is PCA, PCB, C, D, E, and F. Okay. So A want to send a packet to B. You know, A want to send a packet to B. So what will happen? So A send a packet to the hub. First is it goes to the hub. Hub don't know where is B. So what it will do? It will send to the B. It will send to the C. It will send to the D. It will send to the E. It will send to the F. Okay. It broadcasts the packets to every device. So what will happen? B receive the packet, C receive the packet, D also receive, E also receive, F also receive the packet. So what happens? C verifies is this packet is belongs to me. Now means it will discard the packet. F discard the packet, E discard the packet, D discard the packet, and B accept the packet. Of course, the one thing is good. No problem. But see, for example, D want to send a packet to E. So what happened? D send a packet to hub, up to E, hub to F, F to C, up to E, and then E. See, it is sending to everyone. Only E accept the packet. Only E accept the packet. Remaining will discard the packet. Okay, so unnecessarily are sending packet to everyone. So huge traffic will be occurs because of the traffic collisions will occurs. So if collision is occur, packet data loss is occurs. So hub is not understanding any MAC address and an IP address, it simply send, it simply broadcast the packet to every device in the network. So because of that, consume more bandwidth, more traffic, number of collisions are occur, so more data loss. And that to this hub we call it as a, that's why it, hub we call it as a single broadcast domain, single collision domain. Because of this huge packet loss, you think like you have a uh, 50 computers. So more collisions, more data loss. That's why it is suitable for small networks. Of course, it is used for LAN communication only. Okay, guys, this is about hub. Next one, I will tell about a, a switch. Okay, so then what is the difference between hub and switch? We'll see. And after that, I will tell about repeater, okay? It's an intelligent device. Intelligent device means it contains a CPU, it contains some uh, arithmetic calculation kind of stuff. So switch can understand and learn MAC address of the device. Every device having an IP address and MAC address while communicating in the network, right? Without MAC address and IP address, we can't communicate. So here it is, some devices are connected to a switch.
Okay. Now this time I connected to switch. Okay. Each switch having a port. Of course, hub also having a port, but uh, there is no use of uh, recognizing port number in hub. But in switch, each port is recognized as a numbering. Port number one, port number two, port number three, port number four, five, six, or any empty ports are there, they're also having a numbers. So the switch is act like a hub initially, then become a some other way. So we'll see first. A want to send a packet to B. So A and A send a packet to B. So with the A's IP address, B's IP address, A's MAC address, and B's MAC address. So packet is travels to the switch. In search is there is a MAC address table. MAC address table. So it contains like a port number, okay, and the MAC address of a connected device. So port number one is connected to A. So when A is sending a packet, so it will recognize A PC's MAC address. Okay. So then it will broadcast to everyone because of switch also don't know where is the B. Okay. So it will send to B, it will send to C, it will send to D, like this. So devices will communicate initially. So B uh, take the packet remaining discard the packet. For example, B replay the packet, B send a packet to A. So again, switch recognize port number two is connected to B machine. Like devices are while communicating each other, the switch learn the MAC address of the devices and where it is connected, which port it is connected. This is called a MAC address learning. This table we call it as a MAC table. MAC address table. MAT. MAC address table or a MAC table. So what is the advantage of using this one? For example, C want to send a packet to D. So where is C? C is sending a packet to switch port number three and uh, where is the destination d this mac address in the destination this is a this mac address is connected to port number four so it will send directly to the port number four so initially it is like a search it broadcast but once it is learned the port number and the mac address of a device connected to that port number so it is do unicasting. It's so simple. Okay. So it reduces the broadcasting later on days. The floating unicasting is to, to it will do. So means so unnecessary packet losses will be reduced. Of course, some more uh, one more point we missed will cover again. Intelligent device understand and learn the MAC address. Guys, remember switch don't understand IP address, but it can understand MAC address. It maintain the MAC address table. Of course, switch we use in a LAN communication. As per OSA layers, it is a layer two device, data link layer device it is. Hub is layer one device, guys, physical layer. Switch is layer two device, data link layer. Switch use. Switch can be used in both small and large networks. Switch can be used in both small and large networks. Large number of devices can be connected. So in a hub, we cannot connect more devices like a 20, 30, 40 devices, we can connect it, but switch, we can use extender start topology if required, then we can connect to multiple devices because so switch once learn the MAC address, it will create the MAC address table 
then it will unicast. So it reduces the broadcast, okay? And uh, lesser uh, collisions, lesser packet loss. large number of devices can be connected. Of course, in switches also there is different types, cut through switches, store and forward switches also there. Switch initially broadcast packets like to every device in network like a hub. Switch learn MAC address of the devices connected to switch port, maps MAC address to the switch port number and the map we call MAC address table or a MAC table. Okay, so this is about it. Mac address table. So this here it is. I have written an explanation, guys. Compulsory read at least once or twice. Okay. Reduce number of collisions, less packet loss, single broadcast. Switch functionalities are Mac learning and packet forwarding. And switch, there is two more points are there. There is a L3 switches. What is L2, L3? As a OS layer, seven layers are there now. L2, layer two means data link layer. Switch can understand MAC address, not IP address part. But there is a L3 switches, layer three switches. Generally, layer three means routers. See, do as the layer three switches function like a switch as well as a router. Not WAN connectivity, but within the LAN also. Uh, it do the router job, okay? Inter-network communication, inter-VLAN routing, VTP, VLAN uh, trunkling protocol, these kind of stuff works in this uh, L3 switches. For suppose in future you are learning some networking related like a configuring routers and switches like a CCNA syllabus, or maybe in organization people will try to tell you uh, it is not a layer two, it is layer three. Switch is having both layer two, layer three kind of stuff also. And hub is layer one device. Repeater, repeater is, it repeat the signal. So when you have a crossing that 100 meters distance, so about to cross 100 meters signal, signal will become weak. The weak signal, right? The signal become weak, so what happened? Improper communication, uh, slow loading kind of stuff. So repeater repeat the signal, then signal become normal shape. Some places that we can use hub also as a repeater. Repeater devices are there, hubs also there. I think uh, there is a one picture is missed here. Actually, that is a good picture. Okay, it may be in somewhere, I, I will get, find it later. So nowadays, repeaters are not using in generally uh, because uh, now we are using Wi-Fi in a home also, in offices, we are using Wi-Fi extenders. What is Wi-Fi extender? See, this is the Wi-Fi extender. Wi-Fi extender do not have any username, password kind of stuff. So in a home, for example, in my organization or maybe in my home, now the, uh, the Wi-Fi routers, they put it in a hall, right? Mostly in an entrance level, right? In one place, they put a Wi-Fi router. But we are in uh, some different bedroom. So we are uh, getting a weak signal. Signal is very less. The, the signal strength is very less. So what will we do better? Maintain the distance between this. Check the distance. Where full signal is there. And middle, put a Wi-Fi extender. So what it will do, it receive the signal, it forward the signal. So that is Wi-Fi extender. Guys, up to here, okay? Yes, sir. So two more devices. One is router, another is modem. Okay, then we will close the class for today.
So tomorrow I will explain about uh, what is NICs, different type of NICs. Okay, how to check MAC address and the cables and all. See, but better to read it, guys. Once read it. Okay. The router router is a also intelligent device because there is a processor RAM and everything is there. It works with the logical addressing IP address. So already we told so router is a inter networking device. It connects to our more networks. It works in both LAN and WAN communication. Internally LAN communication when two or more networks are there. So we can make a communication and to connect outside of our organization to the other distant organization or our organization, different geographical location to WAN connectivity also we can connect. We are getting internet through fiber optical cables. Right, so these are all connected uh, through routers on from me to google.com. So there's several routers are there to communicate from my device to google.com. I will show you that the, the command also. So how many routers are there? Yeah, of course, router is a layer three device network layer. So layer one is hub, layer two is switch, layer three is router. So layer one physical layer, data link layer and network. What is meant by root? Root means path. Router means shows best path to reach the destination. So router, what it is showing? It is telling how to reach the destination and which path is the best path. How router knows what is your best path? Okay, it's not using any Google Maps, right? So how router knows what is the best path to reach the destination? I open Google.com. I need to get Google.com. I need to reach Google.com faster way, right? So how can I reach? The routers will tell how to reach it. Not to us, so directly the, it will direct our traffic like that. But how the router knows it use the routing tables. These routing tables are can be created manually or can be created automatically. Manually means people, those who are in the ISP, they will create this uh, manual routing. This manually they enter, go to this route. Dynamic routing is there is a protocol called dynamic routing protocols, RAP, EIJ, RP, OSPF kind of protocols. By enabling these protocols, it will calculate and build a routing table for the router. That may be a little bit high, but it's okay to learn. It's okay to know it. Okay. So this is about your router. And of course, there is a ping and a trace RT. I will tell that one separately. I'll finish this uh, modem part. Remember, guys, I didn't, uh, I'm not covering now what is ping and trace RT. Tomorrow I will tell. Modem means modulator and demodulator. Okay, you know, FM radio, AM radio, amplitude modulation, frequency, man. You know, FM radio. So, you know, 104 uh, uh, or maybe uh, what we can say 93.8 FM. So that is their modulating regular wire signal into high frequency signal. And we are receiving high frequency signal, demodulating and hearing the original wires. Modulator and demodulator. But what is that FM radio doing in our organization, our office, in our network? It is also doing same thing in a network in our LAN network. The signal is digital type of signal. It's a weak signal. It is cannot communicate longer distances and we cannot connect uh, to our ISP. It is somewhere in the city, right? So how we can communicate through the modem only. So modem will convert your signal as per the uh, connected cable, either telephone cable or fiber optical cable. 
and also modem carries your id means your id password it will carry what kind of connectivity that information also carries and give it to your isp isp verify your type of connectivity user id password and then they will give a internet connectivity to your modem so modem make it connected to your isp so modem will get internet from modem to our router router to switches switches to our devices we are getting internet already i told some wi-fi routers act like a router with the built-in modems okay wi-fi router does not mean it contains modem kind of stuff guys some routers what we are using in our home it contains modem and as well as a router switching wi-fi wireless point and everything so whenever you are communicating outside of your network you have send a packets through default gateway so who is become a default gateway here or wi-fi router or router is act like a default gateway default gateway ip address is is a kind of button default gateway ip address is or router ip address so other things uh, we will discuss tomorrow okay so these are the major devices guys i think uh, you got point what is the use of hub uh, repeater and uh, wi-fi extender okay and switches and uh, see the differences hub and switch difference is very important how switches functions what is meant by router what is the use of router okay these are the important. what is meant by modem where we use the modern kind of stuff you can see guys underlying points are very important some are not underlined so this is not a very important underlying points are important so compulsory read it and also i given other information which is we will discuss tomorrow and uh, later okay any questions anything No, sir. Compulsory read and participate. Keep on questions also important, guys. You should ask questions also important.